So friends, today we are going to discuss the cases where the employees who are actually working on temporary basis or even during the professional uh, period because normally whenever any any person enters into the government service after getting selected and recommended by the election bodies like mpsc upsc etc so initially uh, such employees will be kept on probation for a certain period maybe two years three years etc during which period uh, their work is assessed and only upon satisfaction uh, they will be confirmed in the services sometimes it happens that uh, government may actually uh, engage employees on the basis of uh, contract for certain duration ad hoc basis for a particular uh, project or duration etc so whether these kind of employees working on temporary basis ad hoc basis or say probationary employee entitled to the protection of article 311 2 which mandates that a government servant cannot be dismissed removed or compulsorily retired or reduced into rank except after holding a regular full-fledged departmental inquiry in which he is given an opportunity of defending himself this article gives such a strongest protection to the government employees government servants question arises as to whether such protection is available to employee who is probationary or employee who is working on contractual basis maybe temporary for certain duration so dear friends such issue is very important because generally what happens such employees are given a termination notice or termination order in which certain imputations that is allegations will find mention and the employee will say since you are temporary employee or since you have not completed probation period you did not get confirmation therefore you go to home tomorrow whether they can successfully challenge such orders terminating their services by referring to certain misconduct on their part and in, in that case what is the remedy to such employees who get terminated from service such kind of orders are generally of two nature the first nature of order is termination simply sitter wherein employee is shown the outdoor without casting any aspersions upon his character without making any allegations of misconduct being committed by him the order may state that we are terminating your services with effect on so and so date or from today this is a simply sitter discharge the employee who is temporary cannot question such kind of order but if such order makes a reference to certain acts or conduct on the part of such employee which may amount to misconduct etc then in that case the employee is certainly entitled to the protection of article 311 2 even if that employee happens to be probationary or temporary the constitution bench of supreme court of india was called upon way back in 1957 in a famous case now that case is also called as locus classicus as far as the civil servants in india are concerned the famous case is of purushottam lal dhingra versus union of india decided in 1957 by the constitution bench in that case the supreme court interpreted article 310 as well as 300 11. The Supreme Court says the article 310 deals with the concept of doctrine of pleasure. That means you can remain into service of employer as long as your employer is pleased. And the moment he is displeased, he can remove you, he can terminate your services. That is the concept. And article 311 is a kind of exception to this 
concept of doctrine of pleasure simply because the employer is displeased with you employer cannot simply sit or terminate you by your dismissal removal compulsory retirement etc under such uh, under certain circumstances and those circumstances are covered under 311 2 the supreme court says as far as article 311 2 is concerned it doesn't differentiate between a government servant who is regular permanent or a government servant who is temporary therefore question supreme court has answered positively is that in a case where the order by which service is terminated is carrying a stigma it is attaching a stigma it is penal in nature it is indirectly a punishment it cast certain aspersions on the character of that employee it attaches some blot then in that case such order shall be violative of article 3112 even when that is a temporary employee so from this what we can gather is that even a temporary employee or a provisional employee is equally entitled to the protection of a regular inquiry when the termination order is actually a penal order or it carries a stigma it attaches imputation blot or stigma on the character of the employee concerned the reason is this dear friends because once your employer has terminated and that order of termination refers to certain misconducts upon your part then whenever you seek a new job that order in which your character is assassin will become as a hurdle and therefore such kind of termination is not only with regard to the termination of service itself but it is having an effect of disturbing or disreputing your character itself and it is in that sense it is necessary that such employee must be given an opportunity to defend himself and the employer must hold the inquiry to prove such an misconduct against him and it is only when that misconduct is proved then the employee can be given punishment in accordance with the concerned rules now dear friends this judgment of supreme court that is purushottam lal bhingra versus in of india as it has become a locus classicus is being referred to and has been referred to in th- several thousand cases even today that view of supreme court is still being followed by various courts and tribunals in india now dear friends let me tell you there may be certain cases where the order prima facie on its face value may not refer to any misconduct on the part of employee but when employee makes a complaint when there is a material to show that employer actually wanted to punish that employee but in order to dispense with the inquiry and to take a shortcut employee may be simply sit or terminated by passing such order in which the words may be innocuous but still when such material is brought on record then courts are bound tribunals are bound to lift the veil the cover in which the actual penal order is hidden that is called as lifting the veil and in such case also the employee concern is entitled to challenge and once it is pointed out once the background facts will show the material will show that actually employee has been punished because of certain misconduct allegation against him but for which the employer did not hold any inquiry and instead of that the employer chose to issue such order by phrasing innocuous order and getting rid of such employee even in such cases the employee concern can successfully challenge such an order in the tribunal concern or the court concern so dear friends 
this is a short subject matter of today's video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like the content of this video also do share such videos to your friends and colleagues and those who are needy and do make comment give suggestions because that will keep us inspired to make such videos which may benefit the concerns namaskar